Bane, what's the matter? Someone has circumvented my reign. Ooh, that's hot. I'll take one of these pork buns, if you please, Granny. I'm a traveling writer. I journey around from place to place and write about cuisine, from wherever I happen to be visiting. I had heard they were good, but now that I've had one, they're amazing. Yes, I know. Aren't they tasty? Though once I write about them, you'll have such a crowd here, you'll never have a moment to yourself. Oh, yes, I see. This village is no longer plagued by war or any other discord thanks to the efforts of Lord Payne. I said Hanzo of the Salamander! <laughs> Say, do you know what that thing is over there? Huh? Oh, that's Lady Angel. An angel? Huh. What is going on here? The Hidden Rain Village used to be led by Hanzo of the Salamander. Yeah. And I think I should start at Make Out Club Battle! <laughs> Everything I said's completely true. Oh, well, I'm flattered then. Well, Tezuna, you remind me of someone that I know. You look just like her. Well, I heard there might be work for an old mercenary like me, so I came right away to see if anyone was hiring. If they hear that you're one of Hanzo's old associates, then you're gonna be killed. Oh! Yes, I am. My husband is just a genin and doesn't earn much. Lord Payne uses his jutsu to make it rain all over this village. Hey, Tezuna! Hmm? Oh, excuse me a minute. I'm coming home now with a present. <sighs> what a sad piece of writing. Are you ready? On it. Man, it's really coming down. I have an idea. Want to go get a drink while we wait for the rain to stop? It's okay. This is an emergency mission. <laughs> I never heard of drinking being an emergency mission. Come on in, gentlemen. Hey, just two. We'll have two sakes and some snacks, okay? Maybe he's doing something that requires a lot of power. But if it keeps on raining like this... Hey, you watch what you say. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Hey. Where's our order? You didn't bring out anything. Because this evening the both of you get to enjoy our grand opening special. We do? Seriously? I'm the one asking the questions here. And I have quite a lot of them to ask. Now, run! Conan, do it. Right. Damn it! What the hell is this place? You're inside the stomach of a toad. But who... who are you? I already told you that I'm the one who's asking the questions here. <laughs> Start talking. If the both of you refuse to talk, then I'll use my jutsu and flog you into frogs. No matter what you do to us, you better not take us lightly. Well, then I guess I have no choice. <gasps> you bastard, that's not fair! Now, what was that you said? It was something about not turning on your comrades, right? Oh. Well, no matter. They say that he's of Fuma clan lineage. But no one's ever seen him up close. So don't lie to me. In this village, Lord Payne is considered a god. That's all done through Lady Angel. Her again. Just who the hell are you? Never mind about me now. But what's all this stuff about the holdovers from the old Hidden Rain Village? <laughs> CERN anyway. Only very few, very lucky foreigners like you ever managed to slip in from the outside. He conquered the Hidden Rain all by himself. And not only was Hanzo extremely powerful, he was also cautious, and required full body searches of everyone who approached him, even children. We don't really know anything about him. You are young, but you are capable. 
Keep your sympathy! We can still fight you! No, Jiraiya, stop! You three are very strong in exchange for your lives. Tell me your names. Jiraiya! Uh, Tsunade. Orochimaru. I just can't believe it. There's no way he could have defeated Hanzo by himself. What's truly frightening about him is his merciless heart of unbending steel. Burned their homes to the ground. And then he killed emissaries of villages allied with Hanzo. He erased them all. Godlike. All right, then what exactly is your god trying to accomplish here? His are the works of a god. We couldn't know what he has in his mind. Your arms and legs have been bound, so it's impossible for you to move. Now go on, tell me everything you know. Otherwise, you're both gonna spend the rest of your miserable lives eating flies. Now then, time to hunt the intruder. Huh. Still a ninja no matter how lowly. Well, interrogation was never my forte anyway. What's the big idea? I mean, what are you thinking summoning me here right now, Jiraiya? Is this about Naruto's key? I'm just about to go into battle with a very tough opponent. Uh-huh. This guy must really be something if you have to release me to go fight him. There. What? You lost your mind? You're well aware that the key that corresponds to Naruto's eight signed seal is transcribed on my belly. Yes, and yet, don't forget that it was entrusted to us by Minato. It was always meant to be returned to Naruto one indicates that his will was for Naruto to complete that jutsu for himself one day. When that lock was loosened, Naruto's own chakra was pushed aside by the Ninetales chakra, which leaked out in large amounts and took over Naruto. He split the Ninetales power into yin and yang and sealed the yang power inside of Naruto. He left the Ninetales chakra to Naruto on purpose. Or it could be that as a father, he simply wanted to pass on that power to his son. And as a result, he entrusted the Nine Tails power to Naruto because of the knowledge he had. I think you're reading too much into it. I think there's more to it. I believe it may very well have been manually summoned. Fool! The Nine Tails has always been a natural disaster. And who's that? One of the Uchiha clan founders, Madara Uchiha. Perhaps. But I just have this feeling that I can't shake. Well then. It's Jiraiya. I came forth in this body to kill the intruder, and I'll do just that. Now take me to him. I'll go on ahead now and handle him by myself until you arrive. Fire style! Flame bomb! Art of the manipulated shadow, huh? I dangled a lure in hopes of drawing out this pain, fellow. It was my understanding that all of you had died. But I never would have guessed that you'd turned into sheets of paper. You should kill him now! Leave now and stay away. Yes, ma'am! And doing that helps you feel like an angel? Ugh. You had such a love of origami. And you were the kindest and gentlest of the three of you children that I trained. So tell me, which of the other two ended up becoming this pain then? I heard that all of you had died. I never imagined that it would come to something like this. Way back then. They'd be better off if we simply put them out of their misery right now. Back then, you saved the three of us from that fate instead. I'm just very sad. The reason I taught you ninjutsu was to enable all of you to survive those harsh times. For a few years after our time together, I heard your names mentioned here and there. 
What the Akatsuki is doing now is simply wrong. This is what I've thought through on my own, and that is that. But those eyes, that shape, that ripple pattern, I can't believe it. What happened to you? You don't need to know. Stay back. What happened to Yahiko? Ah, oh, yes. There was such a fellow once, wasn't there? Hmm? I understand. What happened to you? The old you would never... Nothing happened. Until their thoughts and beliefs are the same as adults. But abandoning one's love for his friends and fellow man, is that really what it means to become an adult? Yes. I've grown from a man... to a god. And since I'm a god, things that I couldn't see when I was human are clear to me now that I'm a god. At last, I'm going to put an end to this senseless war-riddled world. This will be my sacred deed. I will use the sealed-tailed beasts to develop new forbidden jutsu. But how could creating such jutsu possibly bring about an end to war? Weapons such as those will simply increase conflicts between nations. That's what I'm asking you, so answer me! To each one of the warring nations, I will hand out a forbidden jutsu weapon, and all mankind will quake in terror. All of humanity, all the nations will learn what pain truly is, just like it forced us to grow up. In order for the world to develop to the point where it can think and walk on its own. I'm over here, Sensei. So that's your summoning then, is it? To me, you're like a single-celled organism that hasn't evolved at all. I'm not really human anymore either! These tears of blood, overflowing with rage! I am Master Gerard! I... You haven't matured at all, Sensei. I'm sorry. I'm quite ungraceful. Against this foe, there shall be no playing it by ear. We'll be going full strength from the get-go. I'm using Honored Sage mode. What? You don't mean... Yes, indeed. Till then, I'm counting on you to buy me some time. All right. Ungraceful as I am, I shall try. As I recall, this barrier ninjutsu senses any intrusion across its boundary. Well then... You saw the barrier and switched to an attack-heavy critter, huh? Mr. Gamaken! Right. Ungraceful as I am, here we go! Not at all. They multiply every time you clobber them. I have no idea what they even are. We'll kill him one at a time. Let's lure him into an enclosed space. Right. Huh? Did we lose him? That should buy us some time. Or not! They simply keep dividing, no matter how hard we strike them. Hitting them's a waste of our energy. Damn, they have a one-track mind. Are you okay? I really... I'm quite... You're unable to move, Mr. Gamakin. He's gone. 
Along with the dogs, too. I haven't escaped! <sighs> so that's just a Shadow Clone, too? Yes, but that isn't all. At the same time, summoning Jutsu! <laughs> One thing after another. But I'm almost there. So, so sorry. I'm a bit late. Right, now, I want to attack the caster, but I still need to be able to see him to do that. He who possessed the same pupils as the Sage of the Six Paths not only mastered every jutsu I taught him, he was well versed in all mainstream ninjutsu. Why is he only using the summoning jutsu against me? Does he think I'm beneath the need for direct confrontation? can't fault Bunta for yelling at you the way you behave. I know it's been a while, and I do apologize for the circumstances, boss, ma'am. Oh, the pupils of six paths. Really? It actually exists? Well, then you're right. You had absolutely no choice. Compared to the two of you, I'm still just a novice. So please, lend me your aid for just a little while. He went through all of that just so he could summon those two toads? No. Sensei's undergone a transformation himself. That will only maintain a stalemate. Let's drag him out using creature detection jutsu. Why do you have to fight such an ornery fella anyway? You summoned me? Oh, how nice. So you finally come. Well, from what I've seen of him so far, it appears he didn't grow up in the right direction. Well, in that case, if he's not virtuous, it's your duty to kill him. Besides, that prophecy's probably nothing more than a senile old geezer's rantings. I gotcha! It certainly does look like the one mentioned in the legend, doesn't it? You will be the one to guide this revolutionary change, and eventually there will come a day when you will be forced to make a critical selection. Great Lord Elder, I wonder if this is that moment of selection you talked about. And so, as your teacher, it's my duty to take you down. How could there be three Rinnegan? Must be his jutsu. What did you just say to me? Well, I guess it's about time for me to make my move. Gallant Jiraiya Shell! Quit yakking, yakking in our ears, ears so loud, loud would ya? I do have to whip up some dinner, you know. Ma, this guy's eyes are a much bigger issue than any dinner. And who whoever asked, asked you to look out for me, you? Oh, who are the ones yakking in whose ears now? Sage Art, bath of boiling oil! How about all of us go check it out in close combat? 
the Rosenga! There, behind you! Huh? Taking his back! Sage Art! Kimari Senban! Blocking my attacks not once, but twice! Kebari Senban is my fastest jutsu, and it has the widest attack range of all the jutsu in my arsenal. That's it! It's their eyes! All three of them have the exact same eyes! Huh? That's what your hypothesis is? That's right. That's what I suspect. This is bad. Under these circumstances where my ninjutsu is being nullified, I never imagined he would be this strong. Fall back for now, Jiraiya boy. He's escaped into the pipes. Why are we running away? We have to analyze the six paths and come up with a strategy. In short, every one of them seems to possess the six paths Rinnegan. Whichever one of those is the real pain isn't really the problem that we have to face here, Jiraiya boy. The real problem is that for better or worse... Well, it's still not clear. We don't know that yet. But there is a wee little bit that we can figure out all on our own. Let me put it as simply as I can. In the same way that three security cameras show three different angles of the same image, without even seeing their foe or with their own eyes at all. So they've got triple the sight of everyone else. It does make for an invincible combination. Well then, we'll have to split them up and fight them separately. Taijutsu isn't going to work against him, and any ninjutsu would be just absorbed like before. But as I recall, the two of you... Hmm. Yes, you're right about that, Jiraiya boy. If they're former students of yours, then they undoubtedly know that you don't use genjutsu very much. Listen, Ma, world peace could very well be hanging on the outcome of this battle right here. I can't sing a duet with Pa! Not at this plump, ripe old age! It's embarrassing! Huh? With song, huh? I see. So that's why we retreated. That's correct. This Genjutsu is very powerful. And it takes a little time for the whole thing to take effect. If your lives are in danger in this fight, I want you to free yourself from my shoulders. I have a plan in mind, but it's a gamble. A big one. Please begin. Hmm. Sound. It's frogs croaking. Again, Jutsu. So that's your move. Good. My gamble paid off. And both times my Jutsu was absorbed, it was the big guy who did it. Right now, the big one's eyes are focused on my jutsu. Still looking at me! This one too. Gotcha! I'm not letting you summon! Now none of your bodies, even your main body, will be able to move at all. You erred in your decision. All I want to do is protect those two. Instead of trying to rule the world through pain, I wish you'd moved past it and used your power to create peace in a positive way. That apprentice will become a ninja who will bring about a great change in the ninja world. For just a little while there, I believed that you were the one. <laughs> How are you guys doing? You all right? Damages the throat, stretches the lower jaw till it sags, creates wrinkles. You have my profound apologies. <gasps> Didn't you teach me never to let my guard down? Lad, your left arm, you're injured. I'm aware of that. What is going on? I see. Back before they got caught under our genjutsu then. The Six Paths of Pain. 
in attendance. Who knows? Just what exactly are you, Payne? But why? Why are there six Rinnegan bearers? No end to this awful rain. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Tsunade. You know, I'm grateful to you. That's what I bet him before he left. Basically, the pursuit of happiness isn't for us. Hmm. Always trying to be cool. Pain. Tell me already, just what the hell are you? You. You're... I know that face. Ahiko's image when you look at me. You really are his former teacher. Tell me why you possess the Rinnegan! What are you talking about, Jiraiya boy? Are you telling us that there are two children of prophecy? No, that's not it either. None of those six really remind me of Nagato all that much. On the other hand, one of them does resemble Yahiko. So just what exactly are you? We are paying, that's all. Oh god. You'd lose. mystery and they seem to use odd weapons too and some people even go so far as to claim that he doesn't really exist but that face it possesses nagato's rinnegan did yahiko for some reason steal them from nagato plus but it is because one understands such pain it's a process called growing up it's called growing up all that pain forced me to grow up. Now I remember. He's definitely not Nagato. I encountered right after I set out on my journey, following the great Lord Elder's prophecy. You'll be the one to guide this revolutionary change. In my dream, I see you traveling around the world and also writing books. It can't be. But the two of you need to go home, now. What's that?! Absolutely not! You'll be killed if you go back there! This is our only chance to run! I know that I might very well be killed if I go out there. This is our only chance to uncover the truth. Plus... Yeah, when we're all done here, I'll bring Jiraiya Boy on over for dinner. It's just as I thought. My throw! Jiraiya boy! You figured it out too late. I have to relay this news of Bane's identity to the boss. Damn it. At this rate. Have I... failed? In the Shinobi world, it's not how you live, it's how you die. Nothing but failure. Continually rejected by Tsunade. Unable to stop my friend. My actions are trifling, insignificant things indeed. And mistakes are an important part of the plot too. I die a splendid Shinobi. At least that's how it was supposed to go. <laughs> a person who will make a great choice that will bring either peace or destruction to the world of the Shinobi. How pitiful. 
How sad that this will be the ending twist to the tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Every chapter reads like one of the numerous legendary exploits you told me about. It's like it's almost autobiographical. Yeah? You think so? So, uh, I was thinking. Hmm? You... what? Are you sure about this? I mean, I randomly came up with it while eating ramen. <laughs> wow, so would that make me his godfather then? Are you really sure you're sure about this? That's right. I gave that child. No way, I never go back on my word. That's the way of the ninja. You've inherited Minato and Kushina's wishes. Their hopes. And yet... A real ninja is one who endures no matter what gets thrown at him. All you do need is the guts to never give up! If that is truly your ninja way, then as your teacher, I have no business at all whining. Isn't that so? He fought his way back by sheer will alone? Right. Obstinate, isn't he? Let's finish him. All right. Message received. The tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Well, now it'll end a bit better, I hope. <laughs> Just barely glorious. But glorious indeed. What should I name the sequel? I wonder. Let's see.